Hey, what's up? I have a new photography tips video for you today, but this time I partnered up with Verizon to showcase how fast their 5G ultra wideband service is. We are going to three of the dopest spots in Chicago to take pictures. And the challenge is I'm gonna be doing a one minute edit of my favorite photo on site and using Verizon's 5G ultra wideband service, I'm gonna get it up on social media like. So first up is the John Hancock Center. This is one of Chicago's tallest buildings. I busted out the 12 to 24 ultra wide lens for this shot. And my goal was to get the entire John Hancock building and Deborah in the picture. I'm about to put you on some game right now. If you ever try to do something like this, something large behind a model and you're shooting from a low angle, you want to make sure that they bend at the waist, bend toward the camera, because if they stood straight up, their, their head is going to be tiny and their body is going to be really large. Have them bend toward the camera and you're going to get a better wide angle shot. Now I'm gonna show you how I edited that photo in less than one minute while still being on location and using the Verizon 5G Ultra Wideband Hotspot. I'm gonna have it up on social media almost instantly. Watch this. The first thing I'm worried about are the crooked lines in this photo. As you saw, I shot a little bit off center. So I'm gonna go into geometry and adjust the horizontal slider to get my line straight at the bottom and at the top of the building. I'm also gonna hit enable lens corrections to remove any distortion that's in the image. And now I'm gonna crop into the image because you see you got that white border, crop in a little bit. I don't wanna crop into the building. I want, I want you to be able to see the edge. Now I'm gonna go into my custom Lightroom presets and see which one works. Just a clean look. Best I ever had coming home. I like the cool tones, but I'm gonna go with clean look for this one. I feel like it just adds a little bit of a punch. Now I'm gonna go into selective brush. And what I'm gonna do is just highlight her face and recover the shadows on her face just so they can see her intense eyes. I'm gonna drop the blacks down a little bit to add a little bit more contrast to the face and we're done. Since Verizon 5G is 25 times faster than 4G, I was able to export and post this image on social media in a blink of an eye. This is my favorite spot to shoot at in Chicago, hands down, a hidden gem in the River North area. But I had a problem. While trying to get a creative shot using my low angles, I noticed how blown out the sky was behind her. Should I expose more for the model and let the sky go completely white? Or should I expose for the sky a little bit more? and recover the shadows on her in post. Well, what I like to do is find a balance. I will slightly underexpose the model to the point where I'm confident that I could recover the shadows nicely in post, and that's what I did here. I want this to resonate with you more than anything else. Your vision, your photography eye is the most important thing about taking interesting pictures. I promise you that if you continue to get out there, it will keep evolving. For example, I've always used a wider lens at this location, but for the first time, I thought about stepping back and using a telephoto lens, getting a different perspective. And I was blown away on how good this looked. Now I'm gonna do another on location one minute edit and using Verizon's 5G hotspot. I'll have it on social in no time. First thing I'm gonna do is browse through my custom Lightroom presets and see what kind of vibe, what kind of tones I wanna go for in this image. And right away I seen Starbucks. I really like the tones, it's kind of muted. Next thing I'm gonna do is recover the shadows on the face and on the body. So I'm gonna go to selective brush and I'm gonna recover some of those shadows. I'm also gonna lower the blacks just a tad to give it a little bit more contrast. Next thing I'm gonna do is recover some of the shadows in the overall image. I feel like it's still kind of dark. And then now I'm gonna go to color mixing and I'm gonna change the hues of those greens because this is a fall picture. I'm taking this in fall, so I'm gonna make the greens a little bit more on the yellow side. Another thing I like to do, I like to change the blues a little bit. I like to make the blues a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna change the hue of the blues and I think, I think I got a winning combination here. What do you think? Hey baby. Papa, where are you? I'm on a photo shoot. Do you want to see how beautiful it is? Watch this. Wow, it's so beautiful. Yeah, right? All right, baby. Well, I'm going to see you soon, okay? I'm going to see you soon. I love you. Bye. My little girl loves to FaceTime me when I'm out and about, but they're usually so pixelated when I'm in downtown. 
It's so dope how crystal clear these FaceTime calls are using Verizon 5G Ultra Wideband. Next stop, Millennium Park for some fall photos. So I have two photography hacks for you right now. Are you ready for these? So the first one is that when you arrive on location, the first thing you should be doing is looking for good lighting. A little trick that I sometimes do is I walk a circle around the model using my electronic viewfinder to find the most flattering light. Once you find it, that's when you should start looking for your composition. When working with an experienced model, I also like to ask them to give me their five favorite poses as I'm shooting, especially when you are in a location where you have to kind of be quick. It also allows them to flow and you can get some really nice natural looking shots this way. Okay, so now I picked my favorite shot and I got my iPad Pro connected to my phone using Verizon 5G hotspot, baby. So now we're gonna give this photo a little bit of TLC. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is lighten up the circles under the eye. So what I'm gonna do is get the healing brush. I'm gonna go ahead and sample just under it and with a lower opacity, I don't wanna go too crazy with this. Just wanna lighten them up just a little bit and I think that's gonna work out for this image. The next thing I'm gonna do is go to my custom Lightroom presets and I'm gonna see which one just looks good for this image. Ooh, best I ever had, yes. I'm digging these tones. I'm really liking these tones. I feel like the image is a little too dark. Adjust the exposure a little bit, make it a little bit brighter. And let me see, raise the shadows just a tad. And we are good, this image is looking clean. So not only does Verizon 5G Ultra Wideband allow me to work faster and more efficiently while on the go, but I'm able to take crystal clear video calls wherever I am. And normally I have to wait till I get home because usually it's all choppy and pixelated. When I go out with the boys to catch a football game, for example, Verizon 5G allows me to stream my boxing matches because I like football, but I like boxing more. And I'm able to stream my boxing matches with no lag, crystal clear, and I'm able to multitask a little bit. I usually get in trouble with my wife sometimes. Uh, watching my boxing matches at dinner or something like that, but it's important to me. The speeds of Verizon 5G are absolutely insane, and I can't wait to see how it's gonna change my workflow from this point on. Also, just keep in mind that 5G Ultra Wideband is available only in parts of select cities. All right, I hope you learned something in this video, and if you did, show your boys some free love down in the comments section. I would really, really appreciate it. That's all I got for you guys, all right? I'm out.